Hey, it's Britaki, and welcome back to our dev tutorial. I'm a new game dev currently working on my first game as efficient and future-proofed as possible. Now you can create death events in custom events or functions to blueprints, but I prefer to add it to the blueprint interface. This is so when I pick up this ball, I can call the function to kill the player. Now we will jump in and first create our death screen and our blueprints immediately after that. I'll see you then. All right, first we will jump right into creating the death screen. So open up your content drawer or your widgets file, and we will add a user interface widget blueprint, user widget WBP underscore death screen. So when the character dies, it'll be quick for testing and while playing. As always, not as always. On this occasion, we will drop in the canvas panel. And let's add a border. So that, drop it in. And I will rename this as border background. And I will be planning on making this full screen. And I am going to make it so you can see through, and then it's red. That way, the Red color will kind of tell the player that they're dead. 0.15, exactly where I want it. And I'm going to drag in another border. I'm going to make sure it is not parented. This will be our selection. There we go. And then we will add a vertical box. Drop that in. We will add a text. Next, we will add two buttons. Feel free to add more for however many you need. For the sake of the tutorial, we'll just add two. Then I'm going to duplicate this text block and drop it into these buttons. Make sure this border is in the center of the screen. Figure out the positions, 0.5 on the alignments, and I will just make it uh, completely see through. Okay. This text block will let them know the player that they have died. Add this into the text. Died. And I will add a spacer before we get too far. I'll make the Y 32 pixels and I will duplicate one in between the buttons. The first button will be the res not resume, restart. Text will match that. Text will be restart. And this last button will be our quit button. Text. Quit. Now that we have our widget created, we will get into the blueprints. For the restart button, on click. If you have a checkpoint or save file for yours, you can go ahead and put this on the restart button. For this tutorial, I will just reopen the map. So open level by name will be our map tutorial. Call and save. And lastly, we will grab our button quit on click. This will just be quit game. Compile and save. That is it for our death screen. Next, we will jump into our death blueprints. So for the death blueprint, let's reopen our content drawer and we will go into our blueprint interface for our player. This way we can call the kill function from outside of the blueprint. This is just how I've been liking to do it. There are definitely other ways but this will be the red tutorial. Let me rename this to kill. 
we will add an output. It will be a bool of is dead. And we will set that. Can I set this true now? Oh no. That goes later. File and save. Uh, that's done. We will go into a our player character. And in the interfaces, we'll go to kill. Make sure is dead is checked on the return. Add we need lots of space for here. First thing we're going to do is stop movement immediately. For the character movement. Then off of character movement, we can drag into disable movement. If you notice your death screen still moving after you die, it may be because you're missing one of these two nodes. I'll need a lot more space. Next, we will set physics to true to our player mesh. Drag our mesh in. Set simulate physics. Check the box. So simulate is true. And then we will set collision. Oh, collision enabled to query and Brain physics, collision enabled. Connect those. Next, we are grabbing our capsule component. Set collision response to channel. And our channel is on. New response will be ignore. Rewind those up. Now to use our death screen, we will need to set input mode UI only and set so show mouse cursor to true. Oops, let me grab the player controller. That says input mode and Set show mouse cursor. Set to true. Connect those. Now when we die, we want the widget menu to pull up. We will create widget. It will be our death screen. And add it to viewport. There we go. Connect those. How I want it to line up and finish off on the return node. This will be all. File and save. I am going to create a quick pickup to oops, pickups. Test this out really quick. So I'm going to duplicate my template. Pick up. On actor begin overlap, reference the other actor. We'll just be the kill message and then destroy the actor. Oh, and save. Get out of there. Now let's drop this kill into our world and see if this works. Actor's dead. It's still carrying the physics from uh, like our velocity. We'll have the camera staying still, so that's good. I've been having issues with that. But yeah, this is our death tutorial. Now I've been having an issue with clicking restart. is not redoing our should work. So clicking the restart is not changing our input. There, control. There we go. 
I want to make sure I fix this here before I get too far ahead. So input mode, game only, and set show mouse cursor to false. So to avoid the restart from preventing your input and showing the mouse cursor in the desk screen widget, I, in the restart button, add the input mode and mouse cursor. This should fix it. Restart. Yep. Jump right back into it. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please let me know how I'm doing in the comments. And I have just started a Discord group for if you need help and to connect with others in the community. I'd appreciate a lot if you joined and have a good one. Peace out.